Thursday, October, whatever it is, 5.30 in the morning. Number two just left to go to school after having a fit. As, yeah, that's the Tahoe, not so you can tell it, there's reflection on it. There's the Tahoe sitting here and her Hyundai is parked because it's toast. She's been driving my pickup. It's parked in the big bell barn because she's been parking there in case it frosted so the windshield wouldn't get screwed up. Oh, apparently this morning she opened the back door to put her school bag in. Then opened the front door and got in. All the power to everything went. Light lit up when she opened the back door, apparently. Got in, put the key in the ignition, and absolutely nothing there, so... She had a meltdown. She's got Becky's car, so... Get me a flashlight, since there's no power in that barn. And that moon up there isn't doing any good to see in there. Yeah, totally forget what I was going to do today, because now i got to do something else. Never ending. Oh, well. We'll see how the day goes. See what I find. Hope it's not me easy, because I don't feel like walking to town. Actually, our Napo delivers, or they will anyway. Because we were one of the old customers of the bank store, which they closed. And even over this direction, yeah. All I gotta do is say, remind them, hey, deliver it, and it's free. Hopefully it's easy. Well, looks kind of like a hawk there this morning. But here you go. It's not picking it all up. There's a couple really bright spots mixed in there that it's not picking up at all. Yeah, washes out there. That's about the best position. And the color rides onto the south quite a ways. Pretty cool clouds, too. See what the day brings. And the red doesn't quite get all the way here, but close. Funny, it wasn't that long ago I was getting sunrises up that direction. gets to well, here in another few weeks it'll be a little farther south and then it'll be hard to tell in the mornings if the glow is from the sun or from the city over that direction there's the one bull in the bunch wish he'd stick his head and feet or somewhere there's room they just gotta know where to go There's, there's there four spaces in the end section down here. One or two over in the lockups. Not enough room, really, but. Either way. <laughs> there's a whole alien face there. He looks way different with a fuzzy face. He's going to see if he can find a spot. So, yeah, I got to feed today. Does my back so much good. Feels so wonderful. But it's what it is. Do what we do. Open the back door. Front door of the center doesn't always work. Open the back door and no cab lights inside. Put the key in the ignition, turned it on. The only light on the dash that lights up says service engine soon. So, the uh, original owner, he actually rear-ended somebody on I-205. Gal on a Jeep Cherokee was tailgating him. Finally decided she'd go in the other lane, go around him. Got in front of him and anchored the brakes. He had a 24-foot cargo trailer on. He was a building contractor. Well, that bumper was like $300 cheaper to install on this truck than the factory bumper was. So, 
He put them nice lights in there. They're nice. They work great in the fog. Number two likes to turn them things on all the time. I never rewired them. He ran the wires through here. There's a relay. Yeah, I don't remember where the relay is, but there's a relay and just a little push button switch that's yeah, it's supposed to be velcroed someplace, but it never got velcroed anywhere. It is uh, she's got it wedged. It's right here. It's you know, push it, let go, push it, let go. Yeah. All I can think of is she left it on. So, voltmeter is down at the bottom. No power out here to hook anything to unless I get a long cord and come from in there. So, we'll fire the service truck up. At least it's got long junker, yeah, jumper cables. Learn to talk today. I was scared there for a minute. The battery switch didn't get turned off. It's still a mystery on this thing. It was fine for a long time. You could leave the battery switch on and have no issues. Then we started having trouble with it. So we've been shutting it off. I don't know when the last time it was fired up was. It might have been to get that one fired up. That would have been on a combine. I don't think it's been out of the shed since. But, hey, she fired up. I'm good with that. Oh, Nelson just has to see it. So there it is again. That jumper cable is uh, ever ready. I changed the plug in on it that goes there because I bought a set of plugs so I can use the same style plug in. The welders plug it in with that. I got something else with the same plug on it. And unfortunately, it didn't match the one that EverReady had. But hey, you know, all I did was change it on the end. And I'm glad that it's a long cable. And my suspicions were correct. Hmm. That's not the sun shining on there. What do you know? Yeah, as soon as I hooked it up and I went back there and turned the switch on because that plug-in's on the switch that goes to the welder and to the crane. The crane's got an SP switch that draws, so I know if that switch gets left on, it'll take these batteries down. Yeah, two switches, one main one for the batteries to the truck and an auxiliary one going back to everything else. Um, yeah, anyway, I put the key in and turned it and at 14 volts everything lit up well that's the other nice thing because this has a small yellow top in it that's got either two or three might just be two yeah box ain't big enough for three that's got two big yellow tops in it well still start just about anything as long as you can get the juice there I suppose I should start it for you while we're here, right? Because it should fire right up. Well, almost fired right up. She cranked hard, but I kind of expect that because it was dead. It's almost too late to get a hold of Tom about bearings for this thing. One of his suppliers in Vancouver, he thinks, actually had the right one. They owed him a favor, so they sent it out so he'd get it by noon today. He said while he was sitting there at his desk eating lunch, the company secretary brought everybody's paychecks in so he could pass them out at the end of the day today. And he's looking on his computer to see where it was because he knew it should have been there or close to it. And she walks in and she says, oh, hey, you get those bearings yet so I can pay that bill. I'll pay that bill when I get back to the office. And yeah, FedEx Tracking said, oh, it was unavailable. No one was there. 
this is a business that somebody gets there by 6 a.m. and the last one leaves around 5, unless he's really got something bad to do and then he might be 9 o'clock at night. There was somebody there. He was sitting in the office. They never attempted delivery. He said they've had a bunch of that with FedEx lately. You know, and only had to go about 30 miles coming out of Vancouver. So hopefully tomorrow by noon we'll have bearings. And it was a pretty nice day most of the day. It started sprinkling again here a little bit ago, but it hasn't done anything to speak of other than just enough to get you damp. And still got a mess there, but at least oil barrel's in where it belongs and stuff's kind of straightened out a little. That barrel really needs to get cleaned up after the, uh, after the owls had their way with it. And that's where I put my pickup after I got it started. I didn't want to, you know, run it for 10 minutes and shut it off and have any issues. So it's had a two amp charge going on it for a while. It should be good. And maybe number two will learn not to leave the fog lights on. <laughs> so I'm just going to unhook it. If it works for her tomorrow, it works. Of course, she doesn't have school tomorrow. All she's got to do is go to work tomorrow. So she can always hitch a ride. Don't live near. Don't leave near as early. She can actually leave after it gets light out. So, and the bad thing about this fancy bumper is getting to the lever. But I don't want to leave this thing sitting out in the rain. And I know it's charged by now. So. And we'll just call it a day. Hope you all had a good one. Hope you all have a good Friday. Thanks for watching, everybody.